For the past 70 years or so, the seas have been dominated by the use of aircraft carriers to project power on a global scale. They have been vital for many major powers to display their dominance across the world and for this reason only seven nations use them minus the use of cheaper and less effective helo carriers. With the constant threat of attacks from submarines or other vessels, it's no wonder that these ships always require upkeep and escorting while out at sea. Only a very small number of countries can afford the hefty price tag required to display their air force globally, so that's why over a multi-part series we're going to be going over every aircraft carrier type and class across the world. The Namiz class aircraft carrier can weigh up to 100,000 to 104,000 long tons. Alongside this, they hold a crew up to 5,000 to 5,200 personnel, including the air wing. The Namiz class aircraft carrier has many countermeasures for electronic warfare alongside torpedo countermeasures. They are armed with Mark 29 guided missile launching systems that can hold Sea Sparrow missiles. They are also equipped with three to four Flanix closed-in weapon systems and two Mark 49 guided missile launching systems. Now, even though the aircraft carrier is set to be replaced by the Gerard Ford class, it should be noted that its technological capabilities have frequently been updated, meaning that despite its old age, it is still a highly capable and highly effective aircraft carrier. One of the biggest benefits of the Namiz class aircraft carrier is the fact that it's nuclear powered, meaning that it can stay out at sea for up to 20 years if it is required to do so. The Gero R. Ford class aircraft carrier is the replacement for the United States Namiz class carrier. It has a lot of similar features, such as the fact it's nuclear powered and is very similar in armament too. The first of the class was USS Gerald R. Ford, as you could expect. It instantly put the USS Enterprise out of service in 2017, and the USA is expected to produce 10 of these carriers. However, at the time of recording, there is only one operational. The Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier weighs about the same as its predecessor, the Namiz class, with about 100,000 tonnes. It can hold a crew of up to 2,600 personnel, which is significantly less than its predecessor, however. The Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier also has many towed torpedo decoys and many other electronic warfare systems. It is also equipped with two Mark 29 guided missile launching systems along with eight Sea Sparrow missile systems. Lastly, it is also equipped with three Flanix closed in weapon systems, Mark 30A 25mm machine gun systems and many many more. The aircraft carrier can also hold 75 plus aircraft, mainly similarly to the Namiz class carrier, however, it will hold mostly F-16s and F-35s. Overall, the Gerard Ford class aircraft carrier is more capable than the Namiz, however at a glance there isn't any significant difference in overall capability. If you look deeper, however, the Namiz is slightly behind in terms of internal radar systems and air defence. Overall, the Gerard Ford class is a superior design. The 002 class aircraft carrier is a Chinese aircraft carrier based on the Kuznov class aircraft carrier from the Russians. However, its systems have been modernised and it's more technology advanced than its Russian counterparts. The first aircraft carrier for this class, and the only one for that matter, was the Shadong class aircraft carrier. It was developed for the People's Liberation Army Navy and is the first domestically produced aircraft carrier within the country. It was commissioned back on the 17th of December 2019 and but was completed on the 25th of April 2018. The aircraft carrier is one of three aircraft carriers within the Chinese Navy. However, one of those aircraft carriers is still under construction as we know. It has the displacement or weight of 60,000 to 70,000 tons for load. The Shadong class aircraft carrier removed the silo space reserved for anti-ship missiles located below the forward flight deck. That was originally a part of the Kuznov class design and it is one of many features which the Chinese Navy has made different from the original Kuznov class design. 
the Shandong class aircraft carrier carries three Type 1130 closing weapon systems, three HQ-10 18-cell missile systems, and can carry up to 36 aircraft, including the Shenyang J-15, the Changhe Z-18, and the Harbin Z-9. We have gone over three major aircraft carriers in this video, however there are plenty more to be explained which we will do in another video. So to stay updated for when that video comes, please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you know when that video is released.